Good afternoon, distinguished colleagues. Let me thank you for the brilliant presentation. Uh, well, we oncologists are used to the fact that we are treating the worst disease ever. But on the other hand, well, the first uh, mortality rate is about cardiological reasons. So in my own experience, I remember that the worst, uh, you know, influence was made on me, not by oncological patient, but the patient by the terminal stage of the cardiovascular insufficiency. It's a really terrifying picture. I thought I will never see such patients again, but from time to time they happen to come to our institution. And these are very often young women who went through um, early stages of breast cancer. Sometimes I've met this, and this is really very bad. So the person has been treated from the disease you targeted, but with this you understand that you became a reason. You gave this patient another deadly disease that has really nothing uh, that we can't really do anything about, unfortunately. And with this, I would like to pay your attention to the fact that in our hands, we have the instrument to prevent the development of this type of complications. This is what we've been already talking about, monitoring, you know, um, right time to stop. But on the other hand, the anthracyclines are one of the basic components of the tumor therapies and the many diseases, including the breast cancer as well. And I believe this is the unique uh, drug that we uh, sometimes have to stop inducing before, you know, giving the whole necessary dosages because we are too much afraid of the complications, the adverse effects. And well, the issue of liposomal dextrorubicin is very interesting Thing, very intriguing for me, but unfortunately, liposomic dextrorubicin be became a, a victim of, you know, the another uh, evidence-based medicine, right? If we have a look at the instruction guideline to dextrorubicin, even the American one, we'll see that it works.